All right. Good morning, everyone. And how are you doing? Good to see you again. And then、uh, it's been a week or a couple of days. Thank you again for being here in the chat rooms. And then,、uh, how are you, everyone? And then,、uh, thanks again for joining on the Old Time Shows today. And today is April 13th and 2024. My goodness. We've been doing that, these demonstrations and then、uh, live shows over what? <laughs> what, 10 years? <laughs> I still cannot believe this one. <laughs> okay. But it's fun. It's, it's a part of my life, and then,、uh, you know, it's, it's just great to see you again every time. And then、uh, we touch the toys. <laughs> so we talk about toys and we talk about the views. And then,、uh, well, I hope that everything is you know, going well, everyone, for you. All right, so let me just call out your names here. And thank you, everyone.、Uh, Mala Water Zooms is here. Stephen Ho. And Charles350, thank you. And also, I can see. Okay, let me just go back. Oh, Brian! Hey, thank you, Brian from San Jose. And Gerald Lunch! Hey, Gerald, welcome to the shows again. Thank you. And then、uh, we received that, you know, his email today. And、uh, we, we can talk about that later, okay? Gerald, thank you. You know, we're going to mention that in your email, okay? All right, and also, good morning. Yeah, we're doing great. Thank you. Good morning to you. <laughs> well, now, okay? All right, doing great. And、uh, you haven't t r e a m i n g of the r e d Yes. Yeah, I've been kind of lazy. <laughs> How do I look? You know, just, you know, kind of, you know, time to time, kind of enjoying that, you know.、Uh, I mean, actually, it's kind of, you know, interesting to have the bear.、Uh, you know, every time I meet people here,、uh, and then、uh, I see that their reaction, To my beard. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, you know, they, they mentioned that. They don't, I don't know. I mean, they don't want to make a comment, but they want to say something. <laughs> so, it's kind of interesting observing people how they think about this. And then、uh, I'm kind of using it as a kind of, you know, not a filter, but、uh, kind of ways to observe the people, how they react. To the、uh, something that they don't see usual, usually every day. Okay? So it's kind of interesting. Okay? So I'm, I'm doing this, you know, not just for myself, but you have to just to observe the other people. s Okay? So kind of interesting. All right. Okay.、Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, all right. Yay, Gerald. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. I've been working,、uh, looking for that. <laughs> okay, everyone, hello there. All right. Oh, Eric. Hey, Eric, we have you here. All right. Thank you very much for being here. Gerald, hey, how are you doing? All right. So, good. All right. So, this time, and, and、uh, we have very, very interesting toys. Ah, you know, I. I think I'm, I'm, I, I, th- I believe that you guys saw that, you know, my、uh, pictures, you know, the pictures of the toys that we hunted yesterday and in the last couple of days. And、uh, so these are the toys. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've been focusing on it, you know,、uh, targeting the, the、uh, pre owned toys for the,、uh, you know, the Megazodes.、Uh, yeah, Henshi Belt is great also,、um, but also Megazode. Uh, it's more fun, I believe. And, and uh, you know,、uh, seems that you know, people are more interested, excited, excited for the Megazord. So, my focus is kind of hunting for the Megazord at this time. Wow. <laughs> What would you say? Okay. <laughs> What is that? Marawara Zooms? Mr. S is like the equivalent to a double door or something for the Matsuyama's local. Wow, what an immense. <laughs> See, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But, you know, definitely kind of interesting to see the,、uh, my students' reaction、uh, next week. <laughs> okay?、Uh, Where's my world link next week on Wednesday live shows? And at、uh, the same time, it's an FM live broadcasting. And、uh, next week,、uh, we'll be、uh, doing the, those live, special live shows. 
at the at Ehime Prefectural Agricultural Institute. And that's where I graduated, you know, over, wow, 45 years ago? Jeez, <laughs> okay? No wonder I have the white beard on my, my, my face, okay? But anyway, well, I've been teaching, I've been kind of, you know, uh, honored to have a kind of positions to teaching English uh, for the students, you know, my kohai, okay? And, and uh, I've been doing that for the last 20, over 20 years at least, <laughs> okay? I probably I am the uh, oldest teacher there right now, uh, more than school principal. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of weird. Right? But anyway, uh, I'll be having uh, you know special live shows in the classrooms, and I'll be talking about this uh, special live about the uh, uh, you know agriculture studying uh, overseas. So that's the kind of program that I, you know, uh, I did that, you know, over 40 years ago after I graduated at those college. And that's really changed my life, uh, as you can see. You know, nothing to do with the agriculture, I guess, for now, you know. But I, it's, I still believe that that was the very, very uh, exciting and, and uh, you know, uh, treasured uh, experience for myself and, and uh, I believe that you know this kind of you know experience uh, in studying you know, overseas for the agriculture uh, I think that those students should you know participate and, and uh, I'm pretty sure that those opportunities will bring them the, all the different uh, you know aspect of the life set and uh, uh, working for the working in that kind of agriculture field so I'm very, uh, you know, happy about that. That's my job, <laughs> okay? Anyway, so uh, we'll be, you know, uh, doing, hosting that special live shows from there. And uh, next week, watch my world link. And uh, we talk about the, uh, not too much about the tokusatsu, but we talk, still do that tokusatsu corrections, okay? The quiz. And so I will be inviting that uh, those other two students, EX, uh, ex-trainees, just came back from the uh, Australia. Uh, he finished that, you know, one year programs, and also one uh, well, another students, uh, you know, ex trainee from <coughs> came back from the uh, Holland, the Netherlands, and then uh, he already started his agriculture and he's been kind of working very hard, and then uh, I can see that he's uh, very very successful now right now, and, and so uh, yeah, we'll be talking about that uh, those his their experience together with the toys. What a crazy idea. I know, I know. I talked to the principal too. <laughs> so anyway. <clears throat> what? what is that? He says it would be like a crack. You shall not pass the shipping inspections. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be a very tough teacher. <laughs> okay. I have to teach them how to pack. <laughs> pack and ship. They're the agricultural product in the future okay oh anyway all right aha yeah yeah should be very interesting and informative shows are hearing all about their experience yeah i hope that you guys enjoy that you know it's she has toys of course it's been a toy setter of course yes but at the same time we've been trying to go beyond that too all right so because you know she has toys but not just toys okay Oh, and then also uh, another topic, okay? Uh, I think I will be sharing the, some videos later <clears throat> that uh, something about the barbecue samurai, okay? Who is the barbecue samurai? And so, well, those of you who already know who is that a barbecue samurai is, Mr. Ryoma Nikumoto, who kind of, you know, uh, host, uh, running that uh, small uh, you know, bread, uh, bed and breakfast business in a Matsuno town. And so this morning, I, I was watching the TV clip of the local news clip, and that uh, he, I know they, they didn't mention that his names, but I saw them, I saw him uh, serving his favorite barbecue, you know, the, the local, you know, uh, foods and, and uh, all the wonderful foods to the uh, Ehime 
Prefecture Mayor. <laughs> Can you believe that? I saw, I mean, I, I saw the bed. I was just, you know, just roaming around out of my, my phone. And, and I saw that the local news said, and suddenly I noticed that the word barbecue and ehime. <laughs> so the, these are two keywords, okay? Barbecue and ehime. Huh, that rings my bell. And then uh, I just click on, you know, click on that. And then I saw the local news. <laughs> and then, so he was there. He was the, so, I mean, actually, the mayor was holding the, the, the barbecue samurai sword and doing the barbecue for the chicken. <laughs> okay? That's the same thing I, we, me and then uh, Charles 350, our you know, friends there in the chat rooms, they were doing a couple weeks ago. The same thing. <laughs> okay? Now, barbecue samurai is offering the kind of you know, special experience. <laughs> for the Ehime Prefecture Mayor. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was, yeah, you know, very interesting. Okay. All right. And so, anyway, uh, that's uh, something that I like to just share that video this later on. So, uh, just remind me, okay. All right. So, anyway, let's go with the, uh, you know, items that we found for this week and hoping you're going to enjoy this one, okay. What is that? Yeah, Barbecue Samurai is a local personality who is a great contributor for the community. I believe so. Yeah, a Cha, you know, Cha said that too. Yes. And then uh, you guys should meet him person. And then uh, his devotion to the uh, what he created uh, for the last 10 years and his style, he believes that his practices. You guys should see this. And then I'm working on the uh, more videos to bring that uh, what he does. And then, uh, so far, he likes that, uh, my videos very much. So uh, I'm very excited to share that uh, more is to come. Okay? If that barbecue samurai were part of the Shinkenju, it would be very called Shinken Barbecue. <laughs> or Shinken Brown. All right? Yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure that you know, we have the great picture that he's holding that, right? But Char, <laughs> okay, he's holding that, you know, solo phone. That's a, something I really need to show you guys later in our videos as well, okay? What is that? Yet yeah, I find it funny how never we got that uh, Bardock, Bardock Origins? Well, I'm not sure about that one, okay? And, but anyway, yeah. Uh, Gerald, thank you very much for your comment. It's good to experience the different experiences and countries, cultures, point of view for the students to grow, yes, in, in a learning and life skill building. And it's indeed, you know, I, yeah, I agree. And that's how, uh, you know, I changed. And you know, it's been a great, you know, so uh, great journey. And, and I hope that, you know, the students, the local students here from the Ehime Prefecture, can learn that or feel that and especially you know uh the next live show uh next week on wednesday for the virtual world link uh you know i invite you guys to the shows and, and uh your questions uh mostly welcome of course and so we we'll take that questions from you guys at and uh, uh for the your questions for the uh, ex trainees you know uh, we'll be sharing that uh, your comment with the uh, the about the 30 students will be there participating it and and after the show uh, we will talk about the uh, how they can apply for the programs and, and uh, what the program does and in a more detailed uh, presentations and experiences that those you know interview interviewees are going to uh, talk about okay <laughs> what is that? Mofa is murdered after the barbecue skewer <laughs> like uh, Shinken Gold was based on sushi. Yeah, maybe something, you know, but so it will be nice though, <laughs> okay? Yeah, there you go, Goku. Yes, and then, uh, yeah, let's go with that, all right? So uh, let's go uh, with the, our, you know, uh, great finding here. So let's start with the uh, some small items, and then uh, well we found that from the Gold Busters. Uh, ooh, I forgot the names. And then, uh, 
Well, anyway, go bastard, bastard, what about the bastard machines and the jets, okay? Uh, actually, we, you know, we found that, you know, uh, Buster O or something, okay? And so out of the Megazord as well to combine gold with it. Unfortunately, the other machines, the another gold, gold Buster machines that I found are missing the some parts. I didn't realize that, you know? And so I was so pissed, <laughs> careful with my, you know, uh, with myself. And it happens that, you know, on doing that, you know, uh, hand, toy huntings, uh, I do my best to find and then uh, examine that and you know the details of the uh, our uh, and those treasure toys. However, sometimes it's I fail, all right, you know, and then um, it's too bad that I cannot bring everything that I, I find it. There are some you know uh, items that are missing the parts: shield, sword. Uh, you know, engine soles or wheels, you know. Uh, when you look at that, you know, uh, those details in a store, every time you find that at some, you know, good looking pre owned toy store, uh, good looking pre owned toys, and it's, you cannot that do that, you know, detailed examinations at the store. You know, they say, the storekeeper says, that, yeah, it has that everything or, I mean, you know, they do that a check, but they're not the expert of, no, they cannot be expert over the talks, all the talks that stories. I, I see that too. So sometimes uh, I do get kind of, you know, malfunction items and then, uh, that's too bad. Okay. Yeah. A uh, stack jet. Yeah, it is. And then uh, from the uh, go buster. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. SJ05, what's that name? Okay. I, <laughs> geez. All right. So anyway, so this is a, we found, it comes with the uh, very important part for the, uh, all the gut ties and, uh, you know, go busters one. So, stack jet. Was it name? Okay. Stack jet. Yeah. Something to do with the stack. Yeah. Stack Vito and stack jets, I think. All right. So anyway, we found the one. All right. So what we'll be uh, bringing to the, our stores. And then, there we go. Uh, from the new soldier, Bumpaki. I think that was the name, right? Bumpaki. And this is the uh, very popular items, uh, but yet uh, kind of, you know, uh, hard to find it. I can see other, you know, do so machines or, you know, uh, other parts, but the uh, Bumpaki somehow, you know, so this time I was, I was lucky. Okay. So good details and uh, good conditions and we'll be, be bringing to the, our stores. Activation time is as usual, tomorrow Sunday activations at 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time. Okay. And uh, we talk about this later. All right. <laughs> so. We just put it on there. So let's go with the uh, Megazo thing. All right, so. All right, we need a drum roll for this. So let me just tell me what do you guys think. This is from the uh, Chikyu Sentai 5 Man. And uh, DX Ask Cannon. I think ask, it says Ask Cannon, but I believe that, it's mean that it meant that DX Ask Cannon. Earth scanner, Earth scanner, okay. Yeah, uh, the, I mean, when I look at this, I just could not believe that in my eyes. I mean, the, the toy is from the 1990, okay? So here, it says, made in Japan, Bandai 1990. Yeah, 1990. And this item, look at the conditions of the box. I mean, um, just, it's brand new, <laughs> okay? And it's like, I mean, actually it is uh, being used, uh, sold as a used items, okay? So it says it's open, yes, it is open, but uh, the, all the stickers, the contents, oh no, it's really mint conditions. Isn't it? 
This is a big candle, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, we will do that more detail uh, demonstration later on, but just I want you to enjoy the beauty of the, this one. Okay? Isn't it great finding? I mean, you don't get that at this quality. And I'm so proud of this one. Okay? And then, uh, it's interesting that, you know, uh, I f the timing is am amazing, okay? So we are watching that Boon Boonja right now. And then uh, Boon Dori Boon Daris, I think that was the name. That robot uh, is uh, voice characters, Dan Banda and uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Matsumoto, I think. Rika Matsumoto. And the, he, uh, the Asa G6 does that. He, she did that the same character. I mean, same voiceover for this character. And, and uh, it's kind of quite interesting, uh, quite interesting that the uh, timing is. That, you know, right now the Boom Boom Joe is doing and uh, Nika Matsumoto is working on that. And we found this as almost like a brand new Asa G6. Bundoryo Bundares. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Bundoryo Bundares. Amazing names, <laughs> okay? Anyway, yeah, just really rare items. I will show you that more details later, okay? So let's go. All right, and not just only the uh, great things, but as I talk, as I mentioned that, you know, we get, we do get, you know, some malfunction toys. Now, let me talk about the malfunction toys and together with here. All right. Okay. So actually the uh, uh, Pato Wing, wasn't it? Name? I have the box actually. I have the box. Deca Wing Robo, that's right. Not the Pato Wing, but Deca Wing Robo. All right. So that we have the box, but unfortunately this is, you know, pretty bastard. And then uh, lots of, you know, children, the uh, uh, child just do something on the package, you know, crossing that, you know, whatever she or he liked it. So I don't think, you know, this box will, will help. Well, maybe, I don't know. I would just still there, okay? I, I, I'm very much looking for that your advice as well. But anyway, more details I will talk about and mention that later, but uh, uh, this Deca, uh, <laughs> Deca Wing Robo, uh, the electricity, the electric is dead. It doesn't work. Uh, so it's very unfortunate, okay? So I, I think it, it experienced that, you know, uh, the battery leak uh, before. And I checked that, you know, the battery case inside and uh, you can see that some of the you know, leaks, and then I, I tried to clean it, but it didn't come back. Yeah, so, but however, the condition, outer conditions is very good. Uh, so I, I think we're going to start selling these items as that malfunction items, okay? More like a toy parts. And so anyone who loves that in the Deca Ranger and missing that Deca Wing Robo and or replacement, you know, because that, you know, his body is just great. I mean, the main parts, main body parts is not, you know, is, is malfunction. Okay. So it doesn't work, but maybe you have that kind of, you know, uh, skills to replace that. Uh, or maybe you already own that Deca Wing Robo that works and then, uh, you need a spare parts. How about that, the guns? Sometimes, you know, you get the uh, missing two guns, missing two guns like that. And uh, other parts is just amazingly good conditions too. Oh, you know what? I think one, something I noticed is, maybe you guys know why, uh, because I could not figure it out, okay? This is the box, okay? Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. Maybe I can just uh, ship that with, but uh, see that, you know, 
<laughs> so, uh, I don't know, that child didn't like this or whatnot, but just a big cross over here, over here, over here, <laughs> so, everywhere. I don't know, I mean, maybe didn't like that they got into a robo or something? <laughs> big crossover everywhere, okay? So anyway, uh, I was looking at, at the, uh, this picture and, then, um, and also looking at the, uh, the actual model. Uh, maybe you guys have the answer for me. And by looking at the, this uh, photo uh, designs and uh, here, when you look at the, the Deca Wing Robo's wing, most iconic parts, right? For the uh, Deca Wing Robo. You see that it's a black painted. And even that uh, here, it's, you know, there's no just, you know, mold color. I mean, just, uh, you know, material colors that is. There's nothing, there's no colors there. But however, when you look at this, it's nicely painted. I mean, I, maybe I'm, I should not use that in a word of painted. This is not done by the, uh, you know, previous owner, no. This is done by the Abanda. Okay, for sure. This is just a high quality original painting. And I'm not sure what, what's going on with this one here. So maybe you guys know that reason or maybe this is the original design that Bandai starts setting it. Maybe this is an upgraded later on, something happens. You know, you know when you look at that, you know, here, uh, some of the parts, now only the dick up, no, 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 wait. Yeah, uh, only the wing parts over here. How's the color, see? So, Yeah, what do you think? You know, it's it's kind of interesting to see that, that why so different, you know, like that. Okay. It uses the LR44 battery, so it's fixable. Uh, this one uses the uh, two AAA batteries. Okay. So yeah, but still. Maybe, you know, I look at the inside and then uh, the battery leak, I will show you that later, but the, uh, it's kind of, you know, damaging. I have a script on this mint box. Yeah, that's a, that's a very evil, isn't it? She or he knew, you know, the person knew, the child knew that, you know, it's going to be, you know, <laughs> collector items later on. Box not damaged. No, it's not damaged, but yeah, I, I would say not damaged, maybe not, okay? Maybe I should keep it, okay? Yeah, Bandai maybe changed that it looks to, to look more uh, authentically pleasing. Mm. Either prototype or modified by the collector. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell, I don't think. Is it kind of, you know, uh, maybe you guys have seen that, that they got into robots and uh, if you can check with that, someone who collects them, much appreciated. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, you know, that this box is the prototype one. Yeah. But this is, this is, this is the, what the, the consumer received it, right? Well, anyway. So item is, you know, uh, the itself is a great condition. Just only that, you know, we don't have the electricity. That's very sad. And so, uh, I mean, if you find another like a robo and then see if it's common among all of them, then, oh, this is so exceptional. I don't know. Yeah, that's the questions. There we go. Thank you very much, Stardust Extremes. So anyway, uh, once again, uh, Deca Ranger Robo, uh, this is the, we are seeing as a toy parts, you know, uh, comes everything, okay? Only thing is that, you know, because we are setting as a toy parts, the electricity, you know, malfunctioned, okay? It doesn't work. So maybe you have a skills to fix it, uh, you know, or you have the other extra parts uh, to replace it. 
So uh, it's up to you, okay? But I want you to know that the Deca Ranger, uh, that I mean, I, I mean, Deca Ranger delayed double is very hard to find it, you know, especially in the box one. And then, uh, well, you know, I guess it will be nice to sell with the box. I mean, we do have the insert as well. So uh, we'll see about that, okay? All right, so let's go with that. Yeah, kind of cool to buy the broken items to customize into your own talk item. That's another one too. Uh, many collectors like loves to do that one also. You know, uh, put that kind of you know, put that kind of broken uh, toys uh, on a kind of you know, uh, what do you call that stage? And put that kind of you know, battlefield atmosphere, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, at least I know that you know some of the Japanese, I mean, I mean, ja Japanese uh, collectors, Tokusatsu collectors, loves that kind of you know uh, layouts. Okay, and uh, creating just like that, you know, uh, uh, MMPR toys do that. You know. Okay. All right. All right, so let's go move on to the uh, next items. And here we have this. Yeah. I hope I can. Asoka. One second. All right, there you go. My microphone was not working. All right, so we have the uh, Gambaro from the uh, Gonger. And this is also a uh, lucky items. <laughs> I, I found it. I was, you know, when I saw that this items, I mean, of course, this is not everything came together, all right? Well, not of course, but yeah, I only found that, you know, uh, Cadigator, the orange Megazord there inside, and I mean, just in the center, the body parts. Uh, Cadigator, I've been looking for that because I have the two, you know, Gumpert, and then uh, who was that? uh number three number four okay well anyway so i already had there two of them but just you know, i didn't missing that i was missing that you know the complete uh you know the cadigator the uh the most important part for the cadigator is this yeah the, his helmet this is so hard to come by with the, the you know, pre-owned toys. This uh, items kind of you know, works as the uh, kind of you know, exhaust uh, for the under the knees of the uh, Cadigator. You know, looks like a kind of cool painting there. Works as a helmet for the uh, Gambaro, but also when you flip it, you can see this is the, uh, I think that's a G12, wasn't it? Uh, wasn't it, was, it was not G12. Well, anyway, so another form, another Megazord mask. So this is a very, very important part for the, you know, Cadigator. Okay. And, uh, of course, the engine soles, right? So I already have that, the engine soles here. And let me just activate that. A cool on. So it's uh, the. Uh, oh, okay. Here. And it's all the inside. All right, so Cadigator complete. And also, uh, let's say for the shark style, what was the name? <laughs> Baruka, there you go. Engine Baruka. Baruka. Okay, so this is cool. Uh, you know, he has that kind of little bit of the Italian 
accent, I guess. I don't know. It's Italian style, I should say. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so if it is Italian taste or what? And also we have the uh, uh, nickname Sniper, I guess. All right. Nice. Okay. So recently, I mean, a lot. It was a Wajima World Link last time, and we mentioned about the uh, you know, uh, you know, this uh, Patoka style. Okay. All right. So the uh, yeah, it was a great finding, and then uh, well, we combined it what we have, and so I uh, hope you're gonna enjoy these items. Okay. And this will be the activated uh, tomorrow Sunday activation. Okay. Next, <clears throat> we have lots to cover. Okay. All right, so this time, let's go with this one here. Koka, Koka. There you go. Okay, so two. Not just one, two. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's very important for us to visit the, the local toy shops, local pre-owned toy stores. Okay, not occasionally, but no, regularly, every week, we do that. We, you know, make a stop by there, and then uh, we always look for, it doesn't matter, you know, what, we do that. And then, then uh, thanks to the older activities, the uh, we do, the local visiting, the, you know, those stores, we spot, we can spot that great items. And these two are just amazing, okay? So one on your left is the Hexugata Gao King from the Gaolinger. And I already checked out the inside and amazing. Okay, I will show you that later, okay? And so on the other side, the lights on the on your right, you can see the Gao Hunter. But this is this is something you don't see every day, no. Not every every six months, every year, no. Maybe once a year. I don't, I don't remember that we saw this one in the last two years. I mean, yeah, we did that a couple of times, but here, okay. So I will show you that and more details inside, but this is the uh, limited editions. Are you, as you see, you can see the gold sticker. It says, Gao, Gaorigeta Buru Version. It says, Gaorigeta Buru Version. Yeah, I think I think this is what the people call the Blue Moon versions. Uh, I was not quite sure that you know people on the uh, internet, but people talking about the Gao Hunter. There's a two versions. One is the Blue Moon versions. I was not quite sure, but I believe this is the Blue Moon versions because uh, Gaudi Gator usually uh, Gaudi Gator is the uh, is painted yellow. Uh, no, no, sorry, green. I think kind of but this one is painted as a kind of blue right yeah blue moon there you go yeah gao hunter blue moon <laughs> so that eh? <laughs> yeah 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 he, he said it <laughs> okay now me though you know, once in a blue moon, then you will find this one. Okay, it's called the Gal Hunter Blue Moon. All right, <laughs> they are items for sure, right? Oh yeah, this is the uh, this is amazing toys. Okay, so I will show you the more details. And now I'm uh, it's already open. You know, treasured toy, pre-owned toys, and I believe it's been kind of display or somewhere. Okay, but uh, later. Okay. Blue Moon is two full moons in a month, by the way. Thank you very much, Zach. <laughs> Something about learning about the science is very important. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it was, yeah, it was very rare even back in 2001. I know, yeah, is it? But believe me, these were not cheap. Wow. 
I just, you know, I didn't want to miss the chance. No, I know. No, I don't want. Didn't want that. That these two was actually uh, among that. You know, uh, it was on the toy shelves. I always go to. And then uh, you you could you know you can see all that you know same items and you know I was thinking oh yeah okay so this is the same week and uh, uh, nothing new and, and I was just going through that and you know, checking that all that you know items stack on that, 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 that stack on that those you know toy toy shelves and suddenly that someone says that <laughs> what's in a blue moon and I saw that a blue moon. And I just could not believe that in my eyes. And I said, what? <laughs> so this is it. And then uh, I was just, you know, so excited and holding it. And then uh, I just look at the next one. Right next to it, we had the Gao King as well. So I believe these two were from the same collector. I believe so. Because that the condition is very similar inside very very good hmm so <laughs> is not wrong with that one no 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 yeah i was thinking that in something accidentally tipped through the ink all over the cow hunter's box that's 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 possible okay we were all deceived right Jail, thank you very much. Uh, do you say he's coming back? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, uh, you're you talking about the uh, Kyojusha, right? Yes, he's coming back. I was missing it for the episode 40 of the series. Okay, all right. So thanks for the updates. And then, so, uh, anyway, Gao King, okay? すごいよね. Wow. Wow. So, uh, I will open. I mean, it was already open, okay? And here we go. We have the Gao Hunter. Look at that the condition. See? Coca Coca. Wow. Sugoi, ne? Yeah, so uh, we will take a look more cross look later. Now, uh, I don't mean to just finish up. And where we go. Okay, so. Okay, let me just bring that on my belts. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, as usual we have the build driver and nothing new. And then actually, this is the one that we already received. I mean, we found it last week. We introduced it. Okay, uh, it is here because I like to talk about this sparkling okay sparkling full bottles uh this time i found it again and because we you know we sold it one and uh well uh we needed one so i found it a good conditions i thought and then uh that's explain something about that okay so and then uh, well it works you know actually see it works and then uh Storekeeper said, "Put that the tag says it works. Yes, it does, and uh, I, that's why I purchased it. Okay. However, however, uh, my understanding of the sparkling hood bottle is that you know, when, when you push that this to the you know, bottom, so wait, this is a back, okay, like this, and it should hold it right there." Okay, and then uh, so when you open that at top, it will just pops out. 
So that's that sparkling bottle. And then you, you, you can put it on that here, right? Uh, the challenge was <laughs> You see? It doesn't hold it. It just comes back. So, yeah, according to the uh, storekeeper, uh, employee, and he, uh, whoever, the employee put that, you know, sign, it works. Yes, it does. But this is something that, you know, does not work. <laughs> So, uh, I cannot sell. See? Ah. Yeah? I know that spring might be damaged or something. I know. Uh, yeah, I think that's something happens that, you know. Or some, some rocking systems inside is cracked off tipped off or something it usually happens when that you know uh, uh, the kind of you know uh, system like this <laughs> so, but anyway it works oh wait I didn't do that you know experiment Yeah, so that's, you know, uh, build driver works as usual. So let's see if that this malfunction one works or not. And let's say, let's pretend that it works. I think it's, you know, we need to shake, right? Yeah. It's And okay, <laughs> what was that? Are you ready? <laughs> I guess it's not ready. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't even make a sound. Eh? So they say it works. I mean, they that the tag says it works. No. Oh, oh, stop. So, 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 are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so, not quite. Okay, so, uh, let me just do it again, okay? All right, you got the extra. Huh? So, let's try it again. Oh, okay, this time walking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this time it worked. Okay. So it's time to wake up. <laughs> so uh, this is, yeah, good. <laughs> it's not perfectly working. Okay. So uh, <laughs> 
I don't know if I, I I don't think I can sell this item though. As a toy parts, maybe not. Even a toy mode. I mean, where do you take the parts from this? Okay. So I spent what a uh, couple dollars for this. Uh, <laughs> so I. I I don't want to say waste it, but. I would just keep it for, I don't know, future toy parts or something. You know, it happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's that was the how it's supposed to go. And but since that, you know, it's a pre-owned toys and then, uh, well, it happens. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. And so this is the, uh, you know, build driver. Uh, for the build driver, it works fine. You know, we already have this one. Okay, so lobby tank. All right, and now so we can just uh, talk about this. Yeah. Well, uh, we have that you know, uh, desire driver, and this is already we have that. Okay, this is from the last um, a couple of weeks ago. Okay, we still have this one. So. Uh, if you're interested, uh, please, you know, check out. But we have the, uh, this, this time we, this is what we found for Wellness Race Backrow, I believe. And uh, the item was the uh, movie, was it a movie? No, that was not a movie, but the uh, special uh, movie exclusive or something. You know, anyway, so there was a promotional items. Only distributed from the for the toy store to uh, you know who uh, purchased that and special items at the time, and so uh, it's missing that the card. Okay, it is missing the card. But however, it it works with that you know desired driver. So let me show you. All right. So I, I forgot that you know how we supposed to do, but yeah, maybe we should do this one here. Okay. Sound, but even better was the uh, boost race buckle. There we go. Okay, so uh, we can just replace. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember that which one was the which. But the, uh, well, let's replace that magnum, and then I replace with the uh, oneness place back. Oh, you're supposed to have the uh, oneness lighter ID core, I guess. Core <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Wait a minute. One more time. Hmm? Are it? How did it do work? Are it? We work. It worked. Ah, soka. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you're supposed to push this one here. Yeah, you're supposed to push that this card slot. On this raised buckle. On this raised buckle.
Okay, so one is raised buckle, uh, only for the promotional items, and we found just one. And so I uh, want you to know that there's no cards comes with it. So anyway, we'll be bringing to the, our stores tomorrow Sunday activation at 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time. So thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you need to tap the one that's raised back over a few times to Henshi since it has its own announcement and a an, uh, desired driver. Right, right. Sure. I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah, we were kind of surprised that, you know, uh, this is a promotional items, but it comes with the uh, uh, speaker and sound. Didn't come with the battery though, but it was empty because it's, I think they thought about the cost. Okay, they figured out it's cost too much. Comes with the battery. I actually two cell batteries inside and, but promotional items, it was a very first time for me to have that the kind of you know sound system on the promotional items so this is very you know i would say layer items so hope you're gonna enjoy this one okay with the key and then let me just put this one away Okay, so I think that's all for that now. And, and uh, well, we will thank you very much. And so we will come back. Uh, we will come back. And when we come back, we, we will do that, you know, demonstrations. Uh, two of them, I mean, actually three of them. All right. One more. There you go. So uh, coming back and we come with the uh, demonstration and DX ass cannon. Wow. I mean, when, every time I touch that at this box, I mean, this is a, supposed to be uh, from the to toy from 1990 and still uh, the box is new. You know, kind of, you know, my mind is kind of bagged because it's brand new and I feel like a, you know, I already back in 1990. This is new. <laughs> this is the, just to make sure that today is the about 2024, right? 2024, April 13. And holding that a toy from the 1990, just like that introduced to the yesterday. So kind of weird feeling. This, I can feel more, you know, I would say pretty own toys, okay? With the box conditions. Yeah, it's uh, nothing bad, but just you can you see that, you know, faded just a bit. You know, you can tell that this is a kind of uh, old toy, right? So this is actually 2001. <laughs> this is 2000, 2001, the previous toy, that DX Ass Cannon was 99, 10 years older than this. Okay, so you can tell how I feel. This is 10 years older than this. But it's, you know, I'll show you that later. And this Gao Hunter, the Blue Moon version. Something that you can find it once in a Blue Moon. Okay, so that's lying from the amount of water zooms I used it. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, I'm gonna take a, just a quick break and I'll come back and then I will start the demonstration. So let's focus on the, those three, okay? So I'll come back, thank you very much. And then, uh, well, just a little coffee break. Thank you.
All right, so here we are. And then, uh, well, again, I think I forgot to mention that, you know, what you are looking at here is a live feed, live camera feed from the uh, uh, Shimanami Kaido, that actually Seto Indan Sea. And we can see that all the bridges connecting that, you know, Honshu Islands and then the Shikoku Islands. Uh, this is, you know, uh, Ehime Prefecture is connected with the uh, Honshu Island with the, uh, these, you know, several bridges. And starting from the Imabari City, which is next to the Wajima, I mean, uh, sorry, next to the, not the Wajima, next to the Matsuyama City. And so, uh, you know, sometimes it's nice to go out there and then uh, cross over the bridge and then uh, enjoy the visiting the, those, you know, small islands. This is a kind of amazing experience. And plus, uh, if you are, uh, you know, cyclist, if you love to enjoy that uh, cycling, you know, they, these uh, you know, Shimanami Kaido bridges offers that the cyclist is an amazing experience. You can actually cross over that Indian Sea, over the bridge, and then uh, visit uh, each small island as well. So they have the rental bicycles and then uh, local restaurants. And then, uh, you know, it would be so nice to do that, you know, kind of, you know, experience. So, um, you know, next time you, when you comes to have a chance to come to Matsuyama or, you know, uh, Imabari areas, you know, uh, I really like to, you know, take you there, you know, so, well, just a prime, okay. But it would be nice to do that kind of, you know, uh, video shooting or something, live stream from there, I don't know. <laughs> but the, uh, it'll be amazing experience, okay. Yeah, yeah, actually, yes, Stephen Hong. Uh, you know what? It's a good, interesting fact. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and in uh, this Shimanami Kaido bridges has that sister city, no, no, sister bridge relationship. It is true. So your guess or the feeling, your gut says that, you know, reminds you the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. It is true. So when you have a chance to go to the Golden Gate Bridge and then make sure to visit that, you know, somewhere the bridge started, there's a small park. I mean, not a small park, but there's a small uh, park and has the uh, uh, plate on it. Introduces that has the special sister bridge relationship with the Shimanami Kaido. So it's true. <laughs> so good to know, right? <laughs> okay. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that view. All right, so let's go back to the uh, our toy over here. And uh, let's start with this DXS cannon. Okay. Wow. I'm so excited to show this one, okay. All right. <clears throat> so allow me to shoot this video and record it and then uh, post it on the website, uh, I mean uh, our YouTube channels later on as the, uh, you know, clip videos. Okay, oh, Gerald, okay, you gotta go. All right, thank you very much, okay? Oh, okay. So, uh, well, maybe next time then, all right? Thank you very much. And I would, I would reply that your emails, okay? And, and uh, well, thank you very much for that, and uh, your efforts uh, and uh, sharing that uh, your work with us, okay? I will talk about that later. All right, thank you. Have a great night. Good night. Okay, so when music comes back, let's go with this one. All right, hello everyone. So thanks for being in the chat and uh, watching uh, these videos. Uh, this time we have the, this beautiful items. It's called DXS Cannon. And from, believe it or not, the toys from the 1990. And an item was from the, originally from the Chikyu Sentai 5 man. And I found it uh, a couple days ago and, and uh, I was astonished. The how good that the uh, you know, box conditions, everything is amazing. 
Okay, so when you look at the here, it says Bandai 1990 made in Japan. Okay, and then uh, when I hold up this box with the quality and the sharpness and the conditions, I feel like I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm trying traveling. <laughs> okay, because 2020 phone right now and then a toy is just like, just like I introduced yesterday in 1990 okay so i will show you i know what i mean okay dx ass cannon on the back all right wow okay so it's consists of also g6 banno roboto multi-purpose robot oh my goodness oh so this robot was more like a parent for the, uh, those five men, the brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, has camera eye, Tokushu Kinzoku Astro Light, Astro Light, Astron, Hanoro, the actor. <laughs> okay. It's kind of interesting that at the time that they kind of have the, all the detailed names and, uh, you know, settings and, you know, <laughs> so uh, Asa G6 transform into the ass cannon, all right, and it has, has that sub trigger regulation system, Bichose Sochi. Even have the Japanese translations. Okay, it's a time capsule. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Alright,そう、4人のボディからPFCエネルギーを注入し、破壊力を1点集中し、銀帝軍、銀帝軍、エナミー、alright?銀帝軍の巨大荷重を撃破する。はあ。So, as Canon actually observed the, the uh, PFC energy, which I don't know what, but the, uh, the as Canon observes, uh, you know, uh, observes that all the energy, PFC energy from the, uh, the five man, four of the, uh, form the form of the body, okay. Form the five man, and then uh, you know uh, eject that those you know energy beams to the uh, enemy. Wow, fight fighting fighting battle. Uh, main computer. Okay, so all right. And then, uh, it's good to know that, you know, as Canon at the time, this uh, was, what was the name, um, the Asa G6. Yeah, him. Or should I say her, right? Asa G6 was the, uh, uh, the voice character at the time was the uh, done by the Matsumoto Rika. And then, uh, it's kind of co coincidence that, you know, right now, Boom Boonger, uh, Bundorio Bundaresu, <laughs> okay, uh, still kind of funny name. And then, uh, the character, voice character, is the same same thing in done by the Matsumoto Rika. So, uh, I will bring that, you know, uh, Bundori o Bundaresu, <laughs> okay, later, you know, sitting, you know, standing each side, okay? So, let's take a look, all right? So, look at that, the beautiful box. Amazing. Okay. Styrofoam. <laughs> Styrofoam. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so let's try that. As canon. So, yeah, look at that. The sticker, never been applied. Woo! Chikyu Sentai 5 Man DX Ascanon Bandai 1990 made in Japan. Alright? So, great concha. Instruction. Ooh. Okay. So we will see, we will check that. And everyone, welcome. The year of 1990. And just be amazed with that quality. 
Okay, so I don't, I need a more, little bit of more light. See how white it is? And then uh, I was just amazed that the quality, it just still has that until now. It's not yellowed, it's pure white. Ah. Uh. Hmm. So on the bottom we have the uh, parts. <laughs> okay, so we have that kind of you know antenna for Asa G6. Yeah, this one antenna, and still on the runner. And you know, I just you know I love that you know it's stapled. <laughs> okay, it is stapled. We don't see that at these times. You know, we don't we don't see that a stapled plastic bag these days. Okay, all right. So we have the uh, antenna. <laughs> oh, man, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, so let's take a look. Okay. Wow, I mean, yeah, the body is just amazing. The you know, item is great, and but when you look at that <laughs> styrofoam, <laughs> it was just wow. It is a brand new. Who said that pretty own? <laughs> okay, I don't see that the quality of the styrofoam like this these days. And the item. So, uh, since that, you know, his antenna, or she, or her, or I don't know, that her antenna is, uh, you know, still on the runner, so we have to do that without it. Check that electricity, okay? But, Oh. Okay, so this we have the uh, the battery pack on his back. Uh, it probably have the lights here or here, not sure. And according to the uh, instructions, does it have the lights? Don't know. It doesn't say anything. <laughs> Just only the sound, maybe. Hmm. Okay. And so let's go. Let's go a little bit down here. Back. You can see that it's original. Okay, so let's try that, you know. Uh, battery okay so we need to open on the back here all right so we need to just push and open oh smooth nice Green. 
so uh, we need to put that a battery. Okay, let's use this one here. Uh, do we have that switch? I don't think there's a, any power switch or soda. All right. So, like this. Okay, it's in now. <laughs> okay, so what do we do here? According to the instructions, transforming into the uh, ass cannon. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's the trigger? Ah, this is trigger. Let me uh, just pull that. This is supposed to be the trigger, and if it makes sound, ah, did I need a little Here we go. Let me just push that uh, trigger. Ah, it was lit. It was lit, isn't it? Instruction does not explain anything about the lights, but has the lights here. Sound of 1990. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, batteries from 2024 in a 1990. <laughs> so, no, what science is this? Yeah, this is the uh, science, Toksatsu science. <laughs> okay, so it has the lights. Okay, not here, but here. Okay, uh, at the time. I mean, from the I mean, 1990s. We're talking about 1990s. We don't have the, any blue LEDs, okay? So just the red and then uh, what was the blue and uh, the red and then uh, was the green. Was it green? Okay. So it's simple. All right. So let's do that. The transformations. First, we need to. Okay. All right. So, oh, that's that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and, narodo, narodo. Okay. So it's a grip. And then, so, Goes number two. Push up the uh, those. Oh, no, hold on. I like that. So, turn. Cool, this one. Which way? Push it. Then, this one. Okay, so here we need to just install that his uh, hand and install this. Okay, so do the same thing here. Okay, and doesn't hold it, <laughs> but it's okay. And now it's go. Let's go for the uh, his feet. And so one, two, tsumasaki o nobashi. Oh, I see. Ko da ne? Oh, narodo. And push the button. Kore, ko kana? Ah, oh, right. oh. Okay. Like this. Hi. So, so stay and then goes like this. Just, let me just put it down here. A little too high. 
And then the cannon. Well, okay, where we go? Koshi no ryoga o mochi sayo itadimasu. So grab that the right, uh, both side of the uh, waist, uh, waist here, waist here, and pull it. Koko, kochi kana? Ah, なるほど The other side too. はい。おお、なるほどなるほど。Okay. Now ex extend it. And now, ah,、uh, also, koka. はいはいはい。So all that you know, arms are installed inside, not the side. Okay, like this. And then the cannon. How do I do this? Open the cannon on the top. Here. Koka. Oh! Oh! Kakui! Okay, and then pull this. Oh! <laughs> Sugoi! Oh, wow! Kore wa. Hi. This ne, so ste, and then we install the, the head parts to inside like this. Okay, and then、uh, this is the instruction.、It、says the,、uh, the cover that cover or cover set is aska non kanse. Cover. Here. Korega. Ah, kore. Eh? Ah, ko da ne. Cover. Ah, naru hodo. So this part is the. Ah. これでいいのかな I think this is the complete, okay? なるほどね。Okay, so、uh, one second. Let me just grab that or some of the、uh, plastic stand so it can hold it there. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> cool, cool. That's. <laughs> just a f u n thing. Ah, this is just a fun thing. Cool, cool, sure. It's a shame, eh? Maybe t o this. There you go. Okay. All right, so this is the ask canon. Then, you know, of course, I want you to know the sticker never apply for these items. And of course,、uh, ASA G6 antenna comes with it. So let's test out the sound. Okay. And、uh, has the, I, I believe it has the lights. You go. <laughs> Not just only the from, but you can see the light. You know, maybe, let me just turn off the lights so you guys can see how it works. This is so i n e r How do you like it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, isn't it coolness? Robot Health Show is weird. <laughs>
Yeah, I only see the futuristic jet robot uh, boat reversed. Earth cannon. <laughs> Blasted? <laughs> the sound was the bane of the uh, many parents in 1990, I'm sure, yes. Uh, that was a headache for them, I guess. Freak out the family cat, that was, <laughs> sure. Okay, so uh, for the size-wise, let me just show you. <laughs> if I hold it, okay. See this? It's nice, quite, you know, nice handgun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. So that's very nice details and then This is fun toy, actually. Okay, so let me just go back and then uh, uh, put it back into the uh, Asa G6. Okay. So what I do is just you know do the reverse. So uh, close the cover on the top and bring up the, uh, his mask headpiece over here. And then uh, close the, the cannons and turn. Okay. All right, and close that body. Okay. Then uh, pull that his leg. Okay, and then. So it's back. All right. So now, now I said G6. Okay. So now, as I mentioned that earlier, the Asa uh, G6 was the voice. Voice character was done by. Oh wait. Uh, his wing needs to be open. There you go. Yeah, Asa G6 voiceover, uh, voice character was the um, Rika Matsumoto, the same voice actor from Boom Boom Jer, the latest Super Sentai. And Bundori o Bundaresu. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a quite a picture, isn't it? Everyone wants to take a picture, this is the chance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, isn't it nice retro science fiction designs indeed? Yeah, with all the fun Mr. S is having with this, he might not sell it and keep it all to himself. Uh, kind of, you know, <laughs> want it? <laughs> no, but I have to, okay? Oh, you have to see this one, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, these two are uh, done by the uh, same voice characters after what? This is the toy in 1990, and this is the toy in 2024. Wait a minute, so which means that what? How old is... <laughs> no, let's not, let's not talk about that. Okay. Oh. Okay, you got it? Great. <laughs> Take the picture. All right. Or Ashley in Pokemon, okay? <laughs> Alright, so she did that too, okay? Yeah, so it's great 
Uh, I'm so excited that have, we have the, these items and, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this demonstrations. And then again, uh, this DXS Canon comes with uh, all that, you know, unapplied sticker and, and uh, his antenna, okay? And then uh, works, electric steel walk, electric walk. You hear the sounds? And beautiful style, style phones. Beautiful style phones. And beautiful box as well. Yo, kona kan ga? Ya, bundori o bunda desu desu ne, achi. I think I need a picture of this one. <laughs> so it's kind of so unique to have both of them at the same time. So, okay. Um, yeah. We well, all know what the mistress wants for the Christmas. Kind of far away. <laughs> Old enough to his dad to be his dad. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's big brother meeting little brother by 34 years. Oh, sugoi ne. Oh, grandpa. Yeah. Get a box signed by the her before we sell. <laughs> How? <laughs> I wish. Okay. All right, so thank you very much for watching. And then this has been a live recording from the uh, CS Toys Internationals. And then, uh, well, yeah, here we go. And then uh, we have the five man, the, you know, uh, five man toy. And from the uh, 1990 DXS Canon, that's beautiful items. And I hope you're gonna enjoy this one here. All right. So we'll be starting selling these items and tomorrow, Sunday activation at 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time. I hope that you don't miss this one. Okay. All right. So thank you. Let's move on to the next and I'll come back. Thank you. All right, so let's move on to the next and one second, okay? Let me put this in a box, just a quick.
All right, so thank you everyone. And we're going to the uh, Gao Hunter, the Blue Moon, right? So before that, I'd like to just share that as a quick uh, introduction about the uh, Gerald. And earlier he was there, he was here. And, but he had to you know, uh, hit the sack because of the, his work. And so earlier this morning, we received that you know, uh, emails from him. And, and uh, he just, uh, I remember he did that and show us to us uh, once uh, no, before, but he, uh, he is an artist. He is an artist. And he's been working on his own production and in a, uh, one of the uh, you know, beautiful pictures, book, and storybook actually. And so I'd like to just share just quick, all right, about what he does, okay? And, and uh, I was pretty amazed with what he does. And so I'd like to share with you guys, okay? So, Koka. No, uh, this one, this way. Cool. All right, so this is nothing to do with the tokusatsu, maybe not, but yeah, I really encourage, like to encourage that, you know, all the other creators and, and uh, all that, you know, uh, artists who, you know, uh, who does that, all that great work and, and uh, uh, concentrate on the uh, expression of the, what their imaginary world. So this is one of that, you know, his great example, the uh, Gerald, our chat member, and he does that, you know, uh, this picture book. It's called Shokai, uh, Guardian of Mana. And it's prelude, it says. And so uh, I need to, you know, look into the more details about this one. But uh, uh, when I saw this, the pictured artwork, I was pretty amazed. You know, the details and then, uh, you know, the atmosphere that it represents. Okay. Uh, looks like it's a very great story. And then uh, I will read it later on. But uh, I will put that, you know, link on our website. And so you guys can take a look at them and, then, uh, you know, probably enjoy that and support him. His, uh, you know, artist, uh, artistry work. Okay. And actually, we have... His website over here. And so anyone who is interested in. Okay. Uh, just, I uh, know, visit that, you know, uh, here. Uh, Theshokai.com. Theshokai.com is the website. He's working on it. Okay. And it looks like it has a kind of story. Continue uh, sequel stories. Shokai Prelude, Heavenly Braid, and uh, Promise. The snow bread. Okay. And some more. Wow. So, hope you enjoy that. And uh, thanks again for the Gerald. And I will write, write, write you back later on. Okay. So, thank you. Uh, I, would, I, I think I will show that to uh, my uh, youngest daughter, Akira. Akira does that artist work as well. So, uh, I'm pretty sure she will enjoy this one. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he does. Hey, Srizuri Debu, good to see you again. It's a beautiful artwork indeed. And, and uh, well, wow. <laughs> okay. So if you can support him, and please do. All right. So I will do that, you know, uh, best I can do. Put it on a website, introducing it. And maybe this is a kind of, you know, great uh, activities for the, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, Praise to introduce that uh, your skills and talent on the CS Toys website, and because I I, I really admire that uh, your work like this, you know. So of course you know not, not everything is you know uh, welcome, yes, but the uh, you know not everything will be introduced it maybe, but you know we did we've been doing that this kind of you know encouraging you know uh, artists and uh, our chat members to do whatever that they are you know in concentrated on so uh well why not okay so do uh, do us uh, send us the uh, some something that if you think that it's kind of you know uh want everyone to take a look and then uh you know get the respond and deprive the or introduce it okay so thanks again so let's move on Back to this Gal Hunter, okay? 
So I'm gonna shoot out the video and let's start. All right, once again, hello everyone. So thanks for joining in this videos and in our chat rooms is welcome. Thank you. Uh, so we have the uh, amazing toy again here. Uh, we found, we spotted this beautiful item. It's DX Hyakushu got the Gao Hunter Buru Moon versions. Yeah, it's a power animal. The three of the power animals got together and a Gao Wolf, Gao Hammerhead, Gao the Gator. And then for this limited edition has the golden sticker. It says, what it says, uh, Gaori Geta Buru version. This is a toy from the 21, 21. And, but even, uh, I heard that even that at the time, this was a layers to get that. So we spot it and I'd like to just sell it tomorrow, Sunday activation at 8 p.m. Japan Southern Time. So look at that all the box conditions. Uh, you can see that there's some bumps over here. You, know, you understand that, you know, uh, because of the age. And but inside, oh wow. Let me just open it. It's been open. Now it's not a styrofoam anymore. <laughs> the time has changed. Now it's a cardboard box and a combination of plastic bag, plastic case, like this. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, instructions and go hunter sticker never applied. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's see. Mmm. I remember Gaudigator was green before, but this is the Blue Moon version. Ooh. Okay. So just you know, quick, I uh, will show you the uh, no, just a little bit of details. Here uh, we have the Gao Oof. and then I'm missing that in his you know uh, tail. But don't worry, he doesn't have the tail itself. This tail, I mean, uh, braid is his tail. So uh, yeah, this kind of unique designs. Beautiful conditions. Okay, so this is where you're supposed to have the stickers, but sticker has never been applied. Next, oh, uh, let me just bring that in a braid. That I was talking about. Yeah, this is the, his tail. And then it goes like this. Okay. Yeah, now he has the tail. Nice. Yeah. All right. Next, uh, Gao Hammerhead. Right, Gao Hammerhead. This is the same design, same color, I believe, with the uh, just regular. Gao Hunter, okay. But, okay, so we can see the wheels and the tail part is over here. Yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, you know, uh, I remember that many of the Gao Hunter, that one comes with the, this braid uh, or tail for the Gao, hun uh, Gao Hammerhead is Pretty, pretty damaged because it has the uh, moving parts over here because of the, you know, it's a sword thing. So <laughs> it's kind of, you know, get easy to be uh, damaged, get damaged. But this one is amazing conditions. Look at that. It's a Super Lair DX Gao Hunter Blue Moon version from the Bandai 2001. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now, uh, Gaudi Gator, it's a tail, but also it's gonna be a sword. 
Well, spear, should I say? Oh, wow. Okay. Now, we have Gaudi Gaeta. And the tail goes over here and attached. That's actually a pretty big toy. Okay, so we have three power animals. All right, beautiful. Gaoof and Hammerhead and Gaudigator. Okay. And comes with an instruction like this. Let's try that, you know, build up the uh, Gao Hunter. Okay. So, first, uh, preparations, and we need to take that, his tail, and pull that cover. Okay. Alright, and the sides as well. There we go. Okay, it's now, now more free and goes front. And pull that big part here. And the other side. Hook. Switch then. Oh, bit too early. There we go. Okay. Store it again like this. Okay. Now uh, it's time for the uh, his back side, and then uh, this is gonna be the uh, his shoulder parts. Contents <laughs> So, here you go, his, uh, one of the arms. And now, let's go with the Gao Hammerhead. Install that, the wheel. Take that, the sword. And bring it down, okay. And also uh, fold out his fins inside. Okay, and then extend it so it has the more space to move. All 
right. And turn. All right, so this will be the, his right hand. This will be the, his left hand. Okay. Now, uh, let's go with the uh, Gaori Gator. Okay. Take off the, his tail. Extend his legs, and here we have the, his feet. Nice. Okay, so finally he can stand. Now let's work on the uh, upper part. <laughs> All right, so we need to uh, open up for the other side. Cool. And. Uh, his front feet will be go on the back of the, his the Megazord. And bring down that. Okay. Upper part. And now we can see the, his head piece right there. Okay. All right, it's almost. And now, Gao Hunter, uh, Oof part will go inside here. Hammerhead parts will go in here. Okay, and then the Oof's tail is the boomerangs and goes right here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, there you go. And then we need to pull that his head parts. So let me just give it a leg up. Okay, leg up here for the camera. That's a beautiful item, isn't it? You can tell, right? Uh, we need to pull the top okay so now his neck is extended and put that uh, the thorn top and open that his jar now we can see his face okay All right, now it's time for him to hold that. His weapon. Okay. Cook. Cool that. This way. Right, so now he's holding on his braid, and then uh, the tail. Right, of course, the tail part will be Rigeda braid. Ah, なるほど. So for the fin braid for this, but yeah, he can hold. You can attach that this braid onto the gator braid. So it's gonna be like this. Cook. Cool. Cool. Attach it. Hi. The gator braid. So has that uh, he can hold it 
right here. Oops. <laughs> okay. Keep off. All right. We can hold this right here. <laughs> All right. I think the boomerang just came off. Coca. ゆう度回転させます。こう。こんな感じ。できた。オッケー。ガオハンターコンプリート。ナウ、イッツ、イッツ、プリットオンザターンテーブル。Okay, so let's take a look at that. More details on the turntable. Okay, so great, and this is the uh, Gao Hunter and in a Voodoo Moon versions, and we are going to start setting this items and tomorrow Sunday activation at 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time, and box condition is great, very good, and uh, the item itself is a super meaty condition. Okay, comes with the stickers and a note applied and the instructions. So there's no reason you missed it. Okay, so good luck with this and thank you very much for watching and this has been a live recording from CS Stories International and, and I'll make sure to check us out tomorrow Sunday activations. Thank you. All right, so. Okay, so uh, thanks again for being in the chat rooms. Uh, I was going to do that a demonstration for the uh, uh, Gao King uh, items, and this items has been kind of uh, it's also great items inside. Sorry, you know the time is running out, and so I just could not do that enough. Uh, but uh, we're going to take a picture and then I put it on our website, and you can see the more details there. All right, so. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's show and lots of, you know, great, you know, boxed items and I was so thrilled, okay? Absolute classic, yes. Yeah, Gao Hunter and Gao Ranger related toys are always very, very popular with the, uh, you know, uh, Tokusatsu and uh, Super Sentai fans and, and uh, we'll just, you know, special focus on that, these items. And so we'll continue to hunt them and bring it to our shows and then I'll start setting this, okay? All right, so thank you. And then, uh, well, I'll talk to you next uh, week during that, you know, uh, Where's My World link. And coming back, 
very soon, okay? So once again, uh, next week, watch my boil the link uh, on Wednesday. It's just a regular time, but yeah, we going to go uh, on irregular show, okay? On <laughs> irregular show, we'll be you know going out, you know, get out of the uh, this you know uh, warehouse or the radio studio. We are going to the uh, uh, Ehime Prefectural Agriculture College, what they call Himekare. Just for short term, okay. Himekare. I think I like that name, okay. Himekare. And then uh, we have the special, uh, not a meeting, but a, uh, uh, you know, introduction to the uh, studying abroad. So I am the one also, uh, you know, got amazing benefit from the uh, uh, studying abroad and, and uh, particularly for the agriculture uh, field. Well, although I'm not in the agriculture field, I'm still the uh, you know vice president of the uh, Ehime Prefecture uh, International Farmers Associations, and so it's kind of funny, huh? But yeah, uh, well, I do believe that you know my contribution to this society and then uh, the younger people. This is my commitment. I believe I strongly believe that you know uh, studying abroad at a young age. Uh, is ex really ex give them expanding idea, expanded ideas of the uh, what the world is surrounding them, and what what they can find uh, inside of their strength, inside of their, them their, uh, themselves, strengths, you know, and then uh, abilities. They will be more amazed that they will be able to speak English, you know, or other language. They will be amazed. That's what happened to me, and that's what I'm pretty sure that that will happen to them. You know, so uh, yeah, that's a very important part of the uh, my life, and and uh, you know, I've been teaching that at that college Himekare uh, over in teaching English over ten over twenty years now, and so uh, this time I'm gonna bring the this radio, I mean, uh, you know, YouTube live, and together with the uh, local radio cast to the college in front of that uh, about the 30 students they will be amazed to talking to you and seeing you on the chat and what they can do in the future with the power of the, their language abilities in the future and also experience in a uh, studying abroad in a different countries so uh, there will be a two special guests one ex trainee just came back from the australia programs and he talks about uh, his experience one new experience in australia the other already is in a farming business and he's independent farmer and right now he's helping with the uh, helping the, his daddy but he, uh, pretty soon he's going to be the inherited that the old dad you know farms and then uh, he'll be working on that you know full time and so these two i mean uh, this guy this person just got back from the about the two years ago he got back from the uh, whole land the Netherlands and so both of them you know great skills great uh, communication skills they'll be very excited to talk to you in English and uh, be answering your questions so make sure to visit our you know special live shows on next week watch my world link and of course don't forget well we'll be doing that Toksatsu quiz Toksatsu connection as well and related to the agriculture, thanks to the uh, all that, you know, contributors for their quiz, you know, uh, so I really appreciate that. It's going to be fun, uh, you know, 55 minutes. And I hope you're going to enjoy that. What, the, you know, Japanese young farmers or uh, Jap yeah, Japanese young students, you know, what they can do. And uh, I hope that, that you guys got a good example for them. So uh, thank you. All right. Okay, so time to go now, and uh, thank you, Dane, take care, I'll take care of yourself, okay, alright, so Chris, thank you, uh, good to show, thank you as well, Andrew711, see you next time, Marabara Zoom, as usual, thank you very much, thanks for one of the great shows, thank you very much, have a great weekend, and take care of the, yes, I will do, uh, first step, I'm gonna eat something, <laughs> okay, take the good care of myself, okay, I take that, okay, so, to very different locations, yes. So, hope you enjoy that on next shows. And then, uh, take care, and I'll talk to you next. Have a great weekend there. Eh, ciao. Bye.